What's up guys, it's Ivan. In this video, I wanted to show you how we can adjust the gradients on our text. So not just the background, all right, but the text as well. Uh, so let me show you what that looks like. So here, as you can see here, very simple, very straightforward. I didn't do much design here, but just to show you that it's possible and what it would look like. And if you want to make changes to it and play around with it, uh, check out my previous video where we actually went over, it's like a 20 minute video. We went over all the different features of gradients and what you can do with it. So let me show you how you can do that. Something to keep in mind as well, this is not supported on every browser. So um, depending on how you want to adjust this and who you want to show this to, uh, I know Internet Edge has some problems with some of the features here, some of the CSS features, so um, just be careful, okay? So what we need to do, so um, let me create another um, text font, and uh, not a text font, another text block, sorry. Uh, so we'll click text block, okay? We, we, it, it won't work if you use headline because the text is not separated from the background, so we need to be able to separate the two elements and play around with that, okay? So I'm going to go to Open Text Editor. I will say, this is my phenomenal headline, all right? Um, you, can, you can adjust this as well. There's some features here. If that's not enough for you, you want more, check out my other videos where I go over you know, this HTML part and help you play around with that as well. Uh, but for now, we'll just leave it at this. So I'm going to click this. I'm going to get the CSS selector. And I'm going to go here. And I'll edit it here. Now, in our previous video, we did something really simple. We just said background, linear, gradient, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So if I type that here, it will not work. The, the browser does not support it. So we have to type WebKit before. Okay. We, we, we need to type that before. So for example, for background, I'm going to say WebKit. And I'm going to say linear gradient. Now, um, Again, in the previous video, because we didn't use WebKit, we said to right or to left or 90 degrees or 180, whatever. Uh, in this case, we need to say where we want the line to start. So do we want the line to start at the right point, at the left point, at the bottom right point? So if I say right, that doesn't mean go right. It means the line starts right and it's going to go left. Okay, so a little bit different there as well. Um, you can select your color. Let's just say red and blue. Okay, so if you want, again, more customization options and seeing how to do this, check out my previous video. Um, that's basically that. Now we need to now we need to make the text transparent, right? So what we're gonna do? It's a little walk around. We can't just say, "Hey, uh, make my text um, this gradient color." We cannot do that here. There's no such uh, command. So what we're going to do is we're going to make the whole background a certain color. We're going to make the text transparent so it sees that background. And then we're going to remove everything. We're going to remove all the background except that text. That's the way we're going to walk around this little problem. And that's how we're going to fix it. Okay. So I'm going to say again, WebKit uh, background clip. And I'm going to say text, meaning we're going to clip everything except the text. I will say, now if you want to do the other way around, if you want to clip everything except the background, then we just change the background color, right? We're not going to bother doing too much work here. You literally just change the text color and like pr pretty easy, right? Straightforward there. So now instead of saying color, we're going to say WebKit text fill color, okay? So slightly different commands here with WebKit. Um, and we need to say transparent, okay? So now this is exactly what we've accomplished. As you can see here, uh, it, it worked, okay? So so we can see the results right away. And um, you can actually make this exactly the same as your headline, even better because you can customize it. Uh, so again, just check out my, my previous videos about how to do that. But basically, yeah, like that's basically it. So you play around from here. So, you know, if you want to add more colors again, you say red, blue, and now that's going to create it... Um, it's going to start from the right. It's going to go red, blue, red, blue. Okay. So over here, I think it's kind of hard to see, um, but it should, it does start uh, with red. Okay. And the other thing is if you use degrees here, the degrees are slightly different as well. So if I say zero degrees in our previous video, um, it, 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 it was, it did start. So zero degrees, it went from uh, bottom to top, right? In this case, that's not how it works. So let me see here, it even just vanished completely. Let me see. Huh. Okay, so just don't use 
Oh, sorry, it's because I have a right one here. One second, let me see. So let me show you zero degrees. Okay, so here, so zero degrees here. So it, it should go from bottom to top. Here it goes from left to right, right? So the, the degrees here are a bit skewed. They're a bit off. Uh, and here, when I say 90 degrees, it doesn't go from left to right. Like in our previous video, it goes from top to bottom, okay? So just, just, just keep that in mind. But it is possible to create these gradients, right? And you can do the same thing again. So you can also add the hex codes. You can add the RGBA codes to make your text transparent. So, you know, if I want to make this uh, transparent, I'll say RGBA. And I'll say 25500 and, I don't know, pick an opacity, 0.5. And there you go. Okay, so this is, let me see. So it should be a bit more transparent there. Let me see. Let me make it one. Let me let me see. I'm I'm just trying to think of something just to make this a bit more clear for you guys because it's hard to it's hard to see. So it should go from um, right, blue, red, right, make it green maybe. All right, so there. So you see the green there. Okay, I, I'm just trying to make this like a bit more obvious to see. It's kind of hard to see there. Um, make this RGBA zero two five five zero and then maybe zero point five again. All right, so this has made my green scroll in this has made my green a bit more transparent as you can see there right so basically like play around with it right there's there's many different ways you can do but here's how you create that transparency at least in chrome uh, this should work in opera it should work in firefox internet edge it's not working for some reason internet explorer i'm not sure but something you guys can check out and let me know, okay? Uh, but that's basically it. I hope that helped. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down below. Um, please subscribe. For those of you that have subscribed, thank you. I do appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next video.